Press 1 here on BBC One. Join us then, if you can. Goodbye for now. Started already. Now here's something you can sink your teeth into, or perhaps not. If you'd love to have a dog, can't manage it full time. How about renting one? Well, I think of it as a sort of doggy timeshare. Doggy timeshare. Uh, that's the idea behind an American company called Flex Pets, who are hoping to open in, hoping to open, hoping to open in the UK later this year for a membership fee and annual subscription. You could be proud owner of a dog which isn't yours. But uh, maybe it'll be yours for Christmas. Yeah, not for life. But uh, mm. is it good news for the pet? Well, Anton Dubeck borrowed his rescue dog, Ginger, you'll remember, for the underdog show. And Steve Mann is a dog trainer who's here with Bella. Very good morning Hello. to you. Hello. Good morning. morning. And, Anton, what do you think of the idea? I mean, you, presumably you miss Ginger terribly. Terribly. I do. It's... it's it, oh, I can't, I can't talk about it. Excellent. Um, <laughs> OK. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think... So. What I think about it is it's really the worst-case scenario. It's the dog for Christmas thing. Mm. Um, because they're a lovely idea, and then suddenly you go, oh, blimey, I've got to go back to work now. What am I going to do with this? And I think that's the worst-case scenario. So if you can maybe have a dog for a weekend or a week or something, and I know the dog people at home are all going, <laughs> what? It's a dog. You can't do that. But if it gets you into having a dog and it makes you realise whether you can actually keep a dog, then it's a good thing. Yeah, good way of experimenting. Steve, it, yeah. do you think it's a good way of experimenting, or do you say...? Uh, no. no. I, don't, I don't think dogs should be experimented with yeah. in the first place. Um, there's so much being promoted about dog ownership, um, and these websites seem to be all about convenience, all about convenient-free, guilt-free, hassle-free, you know, which is... It's responsibility. So it's not fair on it's the responsibility dog, really. free, you know. We to promote responsible dog ownership, not because it's convenient. Should of course yeah. introduce some who you've got with you. This, this is, is this is Bellissimo. Oh, Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Oh, Bellissimo. Oh, Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Oh, Bellissimo. Yeah, this is Bella. So I mean, she's, she's a rescue dog. If she was passed from pillars of post like these dogs are going to be done by these companies, she would be a tribune yeah. wreck. I mean, it comes at, on the day when we're reporting from the RSPCA that there seems to be more animal cruelty going on in yeah. this country. Of than, course, than yeah. Ever before. And, and renting a dog is only pandering to disposable dogs. You know, it's not for people to tap into. If people don't have a lifestyle where they can have a dog, tough. Don't, you know, don't, don't have a dog. Yeah. I want a Ferrari, but I can't have one. Tough. Yeah, oh, but would you like it for a weekend? I'd it's like for a weekend, same. but I wouldn't be playing with its emotions, it's, its bonding, its relationship, exactly, it's its trust. Mm. That, is, that is the most difficult part about this whole thing. It is, a, it is a dog and you get attached and things. But I still, I can't get over the fact that it, it's got to be a slightly better idea than um, the whole, you get a dog and you suddenly realise you can't have one, you're going to abandon the dog or, or mistreat it. I, that's the worst case scenario for me. So, you know, I appreciate it. All that, and I understand uh, Steve saying, and the whole you can't, you know, play around with the dog's emotions and stuff. Mm. But I, you know, somehow, if it's going to happen, then I think it's a better way of doing but it. But the thing is that, yeah, um, it's, these companies it's are. Difficult. It's a difficult scenario. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, they're they're yeah, aimed at people, and, and you look at the websites, and the quotes are from customers that have got a burning desire to spend time with a dog, and a lifestyle doesn't. They pay $1,000 for the. Pay $1,000 a year for the benefit. If you've got a burning desire to spend time with dogs, well, go to a rescue centre. It's free. Mm -hmm. Walk the dogs. You can pick ten different flavours if that's your, you know, get involved that there, way. I mean, spend there is a bit of a whiff on about it. It's it it just been a money-making scheme. It's like hiring... Yeah. It is. We mentioned Absolutely. hiring out cars. I mean, you get Absolutely. more money for your dog or timeshares. You can't treat a living being like that, can I you? completely agree. And, I, and uh, again, it's, it's not a great situation, but somehow it's slightly better than the, uh, than the, the other, we said earlier. But... Because it's a dog, it makes you work. With a car, great. You give it back, there's no, there's no emotional mm. attachment. And if you dent it, it, it doesn't matter either. Exactly. But exactly. But for the dog, I'm not sure how the dogs will respond. I mean, mm. the thing about the rescue centre is that if you, could, if you want to spend time with the dog, go to the rescue centre, walk the dogs, fabulous. Mm. I was going to I say, know, say I'd like to have a dog for a while because I've, I've always been quite frightened of dog dogs. For a while. And you, you, you weren't a doggy person and no. you had ginger and you, you sort of realised that actually. You can, you can I did have. I generally had a lovely time with Ginger, and he was a great dog. And if I could have kept it, and you know, lifestyles and all that, yeah. I would have. I, I 
would have done, and I wasn't a dog person, and I, and I did have a lovely time with, with Ginger, but um, I couldn't have kept it. But the thing is, that was a means to an end, you know, that was promoting uh, yeah. free homing dogs, that yeah. was, you, you were a stepping stone. Yeah. Well, I, I, for Jean to go back in a society. Well, yeah, you know, tough. <laughs> You've been called that. But was, it, was it messing with the dog's emotions? I mean, you know, they no. bond, they bond no, with their trainers, but now they've gone to a new stage. homes. Yeah, they came from society. They were rejected from society, if you like. If you want to be dramatic, and they went into a recce well, centre. A drama. A show like the under, <laughs> like the underdog show, promoted, responsible, sensible. Fun dog mm. ownership, and now they've got new homes. But now they're in homes. Exactly. They're not. They're not going Could they, from person to person. They first with each dog that they only, uh, they did only it for a short period of time. That they weren't for like habitual renter dogs. Might Same be an idea. idea. Yeah. Go to a rescue centre. Go, go to a rescue centre. Spend your time. Steve yeah. Anton Bellissimo. Thank Bellissimo. you all very much Bellissimo. indeed. Bellissimo. What a very well behaved dog that is. Thank, Thank you. you. That's it for today. We're talking football with Adrian Charles tomorrow. Oh, hey. that'll, be, that'll be difficult. He's West Brom, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He is. In the baggies. He is. And we'll be looking at a spooky new drama called Empathy with a star, Stephen Moyer. That's all tomorrow on Breakfast. We start at six. Join us then. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Have a good day.